Hallelujah. Welcome again to this um, channel this afternoon. See, there is something I will just want to say briefly before you, you watch the movie. And um, I'm sorry, we, 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 like, you, you people don't subscribe to this channel. We discover that we have quite a lot of views on this channel, but less subscribers. You just watch those subscribers and we have begged, we have done all we could do. See, we are at your mercy. No matter how tongue speaking and, and spiritual we are, God will not come down to subscribe to us. You are the one that can do it. It's in your hand. You are, it is in your power to do. You can, God will not come down to do it. It's in your hand. It's in your power to do. And it doesn't cost. Just, just subscribe to the channel. We are at your mercy. God's work is at your mercy. This channel is at your mercy. Please, will you help us subscribe? Let us hear this word. We are begging humbly. It's like, no, I'm not crying. I'm like, I'm not crying. Like, I said I will not shed a single tear upon the sister. So, I won't shed a single tear upon the subscription button. I won't shed a single tear. But please, just. Bro, Femi, bro, John, for this Baba, is, is he crying? No, but it's like, please, just help us subscribe. Please, subscribe. Please, press the button. I have subscribed. 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 I am subscribing now. Wow. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I should subscribe. You have subscribed for victory testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Enjoy your viewing. The, the, the Prime Film Academy presents the 2023-2024 academic session of the Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop. Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop, a place where God end time battle axes are raised. We offer basic, advanced, and professional diploma certificate programs in faith-based filmmaking. The theme for this session is Kingdom Advancement. The cost fee which covers tuition, accommodation, campus package, and certificate is 25,000 Naira only. Food shall be available for sale on campus. The FTW 2023 comes up between April April 15 to April 23, 2023. The venue is La Salle Secondary School, Arigba Bola, Undo City, Undo State, Nigeria. Students are to be on site with editable laptops and camera if available. For more inquiry, call 081-684-76985 or 070-644-00150. FTW. Where is my source? Where is the syringe? Follow me. They are trying to, to launch an attack. Where is the attack coming from? It's not better I die. Do I have a life? It shall be fixed. Not my duty to discharge you until I contact your parents. Why did you say that? You need to see the way he sent me away the other day. Then I need to tell you to beware of the company you keep. Then why not allow me your mind? You know I love you. You lie! Get out of my house! I will go, it's not a problem. Get out of my house! That is not big deal.
marry the total stranger Our wedding night, our only moment That was Thank when we fight divorce the bar Congratulations, bro, and sister Charity Liz. Thank you so much, for Isaac. You have been a great help to us, so God bless you for us. Thank you so much. To God alone be for the glory. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, for Isaac. You know, we must not fail to thank you. I mean, thank you so, so much for yeah. all that you do. And now, listen to this. You know, one good turn deserves another. Oh, yeah. Can you just give us the chance to repay you of the good that you have done for us? I don't seem to get you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Brian, Zeke, what my husband here is saying is that we are patiently waiting for your day of joy like this. Exactly. <laughs> God will do it very soon. God has already done it, my brother. Has done it. You only need to open your eyes to mm -hmm. the reality of what God has yeah, done. that's true. That's it. Um, you see, my dear, yeah. it's getting late. Oh. Let's not keep Isaac waiting. Okay. Um, thank you very much once again. We are really appreciate you. Um, so that we don't keep you late. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. The Lord will bless and keep your home. Amen. Enjoy your wedding night. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you so much, Isaac. We appreciate you. <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you. <sighs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, finally, I married the woman of my dreams. <laughs> As in, I married the most beautiful and adorable woman in the whole world. That's quite a problem. Alright, no problem. <laughs> Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you. Ah, faithful are you, Lord, Thank indeed. You, Jesus, yes, Lord. you said it and you brought it to pass. Yes, you are the beginning and the end. Yes, you are Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take all glory in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, we have come to ascribe all glory, all honor, but to you. Because you deserve it. You oh, hone it. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, we say blessed be to your holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, because we, we, you decided this union and you have made it a, you have made it a great deal for us yes, today. Lord. Blessed be to your name in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Father, Lord, we want to commit this marriage into your hands, O oh God. The Bible says if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? We lift up this foundation of the marriage, this marriage before you, Lord. In Jesus, Help us, oh God. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> but yeah, we are, we are still praying. Oh, save that till next time, baby. Eh? This is our wedding night. It's showtime, baby. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Um, all right. Um, yeah. You see, mm. as you can see, yeah, I'm stressed and tired, mm -hmm. and I need to rest. Oh, now. no problem. Um, I'll join you very soon. All right. Are you going out? <laughs> Where do you expect me to be going to my wedding night? To rest, of course. I don't get you, Charity. You look dressed up for an outing. No, for resting. <laughs> you can't be serious. But you can't be like this on our wedding night. It's not possible. Uh -uh. You can't be in Iro and Buba with scarf on your head. Who does that? <laughs> you keep saying our wedding night. Our wedding night, is there anything special that I don't know? <laughs> but you can't be dressed like this. It's unacceptable. <laughs> hey. Ah, see, this is the way I dress at home. And even as a single, this is the way I dress. Eh? Listen, listen, Charity. You see, this is not your house. And let me remind you, you are married. You are married for crying out loud. And this is my house, okay? But wait, why are you acting strange? Huh? Or is this a prank? Just tell me, do you have any camera hanging around this place, you know, taking records of my reaction? Uh, uh, my dear, but why are you acting strange? Uh, or just tell me, do you have any hidden agenda that I don't know? You are the one acting strange, Charity. 
You are the one acting strange. This is a night every couple wait for. They look for, they long for this night. Ah, well, just look at you. The dressing is awkward. Ah. Don't ruin this show. Don't ruin this night for us, baby. Don't. Ah. So, how else am I expected to dress if I may ask her? Really? <laughs> like, seriously? No problem. Let me educate you. Okay. So, on a night like this, you have to dress open and light. Possibly in a lingerie. Broccolis. Ah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Broccolis. Charity. Ah, ah. Hey! Lindry, where did you hear that from? Ah, ha! My God. You want to go to hell? Ah. Eh? The Bible says, let not your nakedness be discovered. Lindry! Ah, ah! Charity! Hold on. <laughs> hey. Just hold on, hold on. Don't you think you need to take some pills? Uh. But I don't think you are okay. I need to rest from this stress. Please excuse me. Total stranger. This terrible wedding? Terrible wedding for crying out loud. My God. I rebuke you, devil, over my marriage in the name of Jesus. On a night like this, you have to dress open and light. Possibly in a lingerie. Broccoli. <laughs> hey, bro, Collins. Charity. Ah, ah. Hey. Lindry, where did you hear that from? Ah. Ha. My God. You want to go to hell? Ah. Eh? The Bible says, let not your nakedness be discovered. Lindry. Ah. My God. Eh? With all the countless sessions. Of marriage counseling with the marriage committee, with all the numerous sexual related questions. What exactly is wrong with charity? What? Oh my god. confusion on our wedding night. I'm confused. How can a woman dress in a robe and scarf on her head on her wedding night? It's not normal. It's not acceptable. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Yeah, something is not right. Oh. 
Is she a witch? Dear. You just called me a witch. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I was exploring with my thoughts. But don't you understand? Do you think the conversation we had in that room was normal? Eh? But how do you really expect? Is there anything that should happen on our wedding night? Is that supposed to be a question, dear wife? Don't call me, bro. Don't brother zone me. I am your husband, not your brother. I am not shouting. I'm not shouting. You are not sweating profusely. Am I not expected to sweat? Huh? <laughs> Dear, I am burning inside. I'm not alright. I'm not okay. This is my wedding night for crying out loud. Oh dear, you still haven't answered my question. I said, what do you expect to happen on our wedding night? Fun! You know, yeah, we need to know each other. As in, we need to meet each other. Don't you understand? But, don't we know each other? <sighs> Haven't we met each other? Sex. <gasps> sex. If I need to spell it out to you. Sex. What? Fornication? Ah. Ha, <laughs> never in Jesus' name. Uh-uh. My dear, what are you saying? You want to fornicate? Did I just hear you say never in Jesus' name? Ha! My God, I'm done for. Ha! Waiting in Palaba. Ha! Fornication between married couples? Ha! I've never had this before. Ha! See, I'm married to Jesus. It's past midnight. Let's go to bed. No, no, no. <laughs> just go alone, eh? Because it's obvious I can't stay on that same bed with you. That room is hell. Then we stay here together. question is that? Is this not your house? Uh, it is expected. At least you are the one dressed for an outing. Will you stop that and face your unexpected reality? <sighs> Who could that be? Who is that? <sighs> Who is it? Get up now. Go now. <sighs> Who is it? Please subscribe. Just open the door. That's not possible. I, I, I can't open the door for you. I don't know you. I am Marvin. Open the door. Marvin? Who is Marvin? What do you want by this time of the night? Too many questions. Just open the door. We cannot open the door for you. We don't know you. Very well then, I only decided to honor protocol. I walk in the winds. Meet me in your living room. Ah. Where are you? Where are you, Marvin? Where are you? Ah. Please. Reveal yourself. 
Let's see you. Why are you afraid? Sit down. I say sit down. Good of you. You can't see yours. He knew that we sat down. <laughs> why are you keeping everything from your man? Why do you tell him why you are dressed this way on your wedding night? I, 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 don't, I don't know what you are talking about. I'm not hiding anything from him. Yes! Yes! Huh? I said it. I said it. I knew there was something wrong somewhere. Uh, please, Marvin, can you tell me whatever you know about my wife? Please, tell me. Dear, uh, how would you be believing this, the words of a stranger? The person you've not even seen. Ah, what was that? What happened? You go in and check. Maybe something fell. I can't go alone. And after you then. Lead the way. It's nothing here. It's just a broken plate. It's a broken plate. Dear, what is it? What is it? Collins, please, I'm in here. Open the door. I'm trying to open the door from this place. Eh? I'm trying to open the door from this place. Try opening it from your hand. You have the key there. Open the door from your hand there. There's a strange personality here. He's backing me. He shut the door with his magic. I don't even have the courage to look at his face. Please open. What? A personality? How do you mean? How did he get in there? He, he, he appeared here and he shut the door with his magic. Magic? Magic? I'm coming. Marvin, Marvin, where are you? Marvin, are you still there? Marvin. 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 What kind of a wedding night is this, for God's sake? Ah, dear? Well, Charity, dear? Dear? You, you have to summon the courage to speak to that personality there, eh? Collins, I am weak. I can't. I can't. I'm weak in here. Oh my God. My God. Oh, ah. Ah, okay, okay. Then, can we pray? Can we pray? Let's pray together. Let's pray in tongues. Eh? Let's pray Ah, I'm going to say Let's pray for us. Let's pray It's too late to pray. God, please help me. Please, please help me. Please pray for me. I said I should stop praying. Ah, no, 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 Charity. You have to summon the courage, please. You don't need to allow the devil to shut your mouth. Open your mouth and pray, dear. Any prayer from you, I get you roasted. Please, please pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, look here. <laughs> 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 
I said, look here. Charity. Hello? Open this door. Charity. Ha. Charity. Ha. God. Cha ha. Char. Ha. Ha. Eh? Specky. Specky. I suppose. Specky. Ha. Ha. Let me put this key now. Eh? Ha. Ha. Charity. Charity! 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 Who ah, this door? I should have a key in the room. Ah, I should have a key in the room. I should have. Please subscribe. God, what kind of wedding night is this? Silly, ah, what's up? What's up? Where's this key? Where's this key? Ah. What is all this on my wedding night now? Ah. Colin! Ah. Who are you? Is this Marvin? Please, are you Marvin? Happy married life. And congratulations on your wedding. There is nothing happy about my wedding. Eh? You can imagine all I've been going through on my first night of wedding. <sighs> this is so horrible. But come to think of it, my wife is locked in the kitchen by personality and I'm in here with another personality. What's going on? What's going on? I am really here to help you. But you have to be patient. Help me? But at least, show your face. Let me see your face. Please, reveal yourself to me. Please. Joma Pell Sarafina. I am Sarafina. What exactly do you want from me, Marvin? Interview. Just a tete a tete with Marvin, and that's all. But I don't know you. Why have you come to ruin my first wedding night? I should be asking you that question. Why have you decided to ruin your night all by yourself? Ask your question. Answer the previous one. Why have you decided to put your man in confusion? On your wedding night. I did not put him in confusion. I'm only doing what I think is right. Why didn't you tell him the truth about yourself so he can be prepared? The truth will hurt him. And I don't want to lose him because of the truth. Isn't it obvious that you're going to lose him after all? God forbid. I will not lose my husband in Jesus' name. But you lied to him. She lied to me? About what? But I don't think so. <laughs> because I am a very observant person. And if there was anything at all, I definitely would have found out. There would have been red flags. Yes. There are some flags that cannot be known <sighs> until after marriage. Hmm? There are some issues that cannot be known until you said. But what could it be? What could the issue be? Please. Unfortunately, we are married together forever. Ha! For better or for worse. Ha! Richer or poorer. Ha! God. My Blue God. Blue or red flags? My God. Death in <sighs> no, 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 no. You are getting me scared. You are really getting me scared. Oh, my God. Sarafina, 
Is there anything you know about charity that I don't know? Please. Please. <sighs> Why did you dress like this on your wedding night? But that's how I usually... Shut up! Shut up! I am moving. You don't joke with me. I walk with the winds. I see everything. I know everything. You don't lie to me. Please believe me. I'm saying the truth, Melvin. One more lie from you, Charity, and I will get you roasted. I guess I need to be quiet since you don't believe me. Charity, you are wicked. This is sheer wickedness. Wickedness. I mean, how could you? How? Why? What have I done? Why didn't you tell your husband that you are not a virgin? Who are you? She's not a virgin? Huh? <laughs> you mean she's not a virgin? She's worse than not being a virgin. You did not marry a woman, but a man. What? <laughs> are you sure of what you're saying? Are you? Why do you think she was fully dressed on a wedding night? It's so you cannot discover a lot about her. Ah, oh my God. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I don't even know what is happening to me. I don't know what is happening to me again. Oh my God. Sarafina, Sarafina, she was the will of God for my life. I'm sure about that. She was the will of God for my life. The will of God looks the opposite when it is laid on the foundation of falsehood. Ah, my God, my God, I'm done for. I'm done for. Oh, my God, it wasn't my fault. I was raped. You are not a Christian charity. Oh no, you are not. The way you build up your lies is so alarming. But why didn't you tell your man that you have no womb? Please, 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 bring down your voice. Lower your voice, please. Don't allow my husband to hear this, please. I thought you were denying. I actually thought you were going to deny it. Please. Please, I'm finished. Please. Please help me. Don't tell my husband anything. I beg you. Please, just help me. This is wickedness. You are wicked. Now your husband will be going to endless fasting and prayer, thinking that he is waiting, not knowing that he is actually wasting. No man would marry me if they know that I have no womb. But you should have known that before you went into civil <laughs> prostitution. You should have known that before you went into repeated abortions. <laughs> I have married you. I have married Charity. <laughs> I've married wife. I've married a woman without a womb. <laughs> what kind of marriage is this? Oh my God. <laughs> but you just have to forgive her. And take it as it comes. Forgive? Never! I guess I will have to break the records. My name will eventually enter into the Guinness Book of Records. Guinness Book of Records? <laughs> For what? For the first man to divorce his wife on his wedding night. And for the only man and the first man to have the shortest marriage here on earth. <laughs> Please, just keep this for me. He knows already every details. But how? 
You have not told him. We have been here all alone. <laughs> the cat is let out of the bag. I will be back. <laughs> Charity! 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 You better come out of this place now! Charity! 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 You better come out of this place now! Oh my God! Charity! 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 Hey, wow! Good! Where is the personality you talked about? Where? This is 3 a.m. in the morning. By 6 a.m., you leave my house. Nonsense. You better come out here. Come out here. There is problem. Serious trouble. My God. My God. What have I done to you? You are evil. Charity, you are evil. Don't you have conscience? You told me you were a virgin. What's to you? You have no womb. Ah! Will you stop shouting at me? Eh? It wasn't my fault after all. Ash! Rubbish! Gibberish! You know what? We are unofficially divorced. And for your information, there is no Thanksgiving church this morning. It is over between you and I. Read my lips. It is over. Nonsense. Who are you? Serafina again? No. Marvin. Huh? Huh? Marvin? Marvin? But I've been calling you. I've been looking around for you in the house for a long time. Why are you angry with your wife? Why have you decided to send her back? She cannot bear me children. She has no womb. So what is I use in my house? What? <laughs> Who are you? Why did you do that? It wasn't my fault. I was helpless. What happened? It's a long story. I know the story. But why not cut it short and let us tell it together? Uh, I was born into a family of three girls. My parents were devoted Christians. They were philanthropists and a successful entrepreneur. They took good care of you and your siblings. <laughs> you are their last daughter. And everything was going on fine. Yes. I was in SS3 when this sad day came. My family and I was coming back from an NGO meeting where my parents empowered youths and young adults. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that terrible night, armed robbers bombed on you and collected your valuables and killed everyone in the car. Only mercy kept you because they thought they had cleared everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my hope was dashed. 
and my future was down. <laughs> she told me the story and, and I fed for her. And how does that relate to her having no womb? She suffered and there was no one left to help her. That's a bad one. She suffered and there was no one to help her with her education. Everyone her parents helped ignored her. That's really bad. One good turn deserves another. At least those her parents helped could have stood up for her in a time of distress. Can you now see how it could be difficult? You know, and how one could get weary in well doing? No. The Bible says you will reap what you sow, not where you sow. Hmm. That's so therefore, no one is expected to reap where you are sown. Hmm. The Bible only promises what you sow. But the truth is that whether you like it or not, whether what or where, there is a day. Hmm. Oh, that's a deal of ripping. Hmm. Oh, yes. hmm. I helped myself. I had to join a hookup up community to make ends meet. <laughs> That seems to be the only option for me as at that time. <laughs> when my father's family took over the wealth and trios house. <laughs> and this led to several abortions in order to keep me in business. Mm. Mm. Which eventually got your womb evacuated due to serious complications. I know I shouldn't have done that. But that was the only thing that could keep me in existence. Life is so unfair to me. <laughs> I went in night. Ah. But well, that's not enough a reason for her to live a useless life. No, that's not the reason. Things happen in the world. This marriage is over. It's over. Collins, it is not our fault. Can you just bury the ashes? I mean, forget this old experience and move on. Move on with what exactly? Huh? Is it with a lady? Who has no womb or a disvirgin woman? What exactly are you angry at? What exactly is your problem? Is it that you are angry that she has no womb or you are angry that she has been disvirgin? Both of it! Both! She is a chronic liar, a pretender. She made herself useless and then came into the church to look for a man to put in problem. But definitely not me. <laughs> no. I understand the feelings. Oh yes, I know, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. But um Collins. Um where were you on the twentieth of November two thousand and ten? At exactly 8 45 p.m. in the evening. Twenty ten? That was about twelve years ago. I cannot precisely say where I was, but I was probably, you know, with my guys during my campus days when we still run things, you know. Yeah. I know where you were. Hmm? I remember everything that happened my God. on that day, that time, and that year. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly I was with my guys, you know, hanging out and chilling in a club. Collins, you and your guys bumped in on the family. My God. To the South Mainland Bridge. My God. They were coming from somewhere. <laughs> you attacked them, you and your guys. 
you robbed them of all their valuables. My God! Killed all of them ah. the same day. My God! Ah. 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 It's possible. It's possible, no? Let me be plain with you. That was actually the kind of life I lived in my campus days. You know, I, I, I murdered a lot as a young man. You and your friends yeah. killed Charity's family. My God. Charity, my God. Your new wife was the only survivor of the attack. My God. Oh, my God. You are the reason why our life is rough and messy. Huh? Ah, my, ah, my life. Yeah. Ah, 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 Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I was, I was the one. I, I was actually responsible for a messy life. Ah, Jesus, Jesus. Marvin, Marvin, please, beg of you, please. Do not let charity hear this. Please, I beg of you. Please. Good. Sit. Okay. Okay. She already knows. Ah! The Lord actually preserved a line of huh? mercy. So that you can reap the harvest of the seed of wickedness that you sow 12 years ago. Here comes your harvest. Harvest? You mean a lady without a womb? Is the harvest? Please, Marvin, I plead with you. Please do not let charity hear of this. Please. She knows already. To the details. Collins! Collins! You are a murderer! You are a murderer! You killed my parents! You killed my parents! You ruined my life and dust my hope! Please, please! I did all those when I didn't know what I was doing. Please forgive me, please. Uh, my happy you know that if you hadn't done that, my life would not be a mess like this. Uh, <laughs> you're a murderer, you will rust in jail. Charity, Charity, but I am your husband. Who's your husband? Oh didn't you say that you can marry somebody without a womb? Please forgive me. Please, I beg of you, <laughs> If not for the message of God, I would have also died. Eh? I'm only waiting for the dawn to get to the station. Oh. You will rust in jail. Ah, oh, please, Charity, please. Oh, my God. But hold on. Hold on. There is no proof, no evidence that I killed her parents. So there is no evidence to present at the station if she decides to report me to the police. All I am sure of is that I cannot marry a lady without a woman. And that's final. Please subscribe. Charity. Um, you see, I cannot stop you from going on with your truth to arrest me for the mother of your family. And as you can see, you have no evidence to nail me for the murder of your parents. So I did not kill your family. Liar. You did. <laughs> but what evidence do you have? Charity, what proof? You see, I have enough evidences that you have no womb. But for you, you've got no evidence that I kill your family members. Collins, you are evil. So wicked and evil. And what about you who went to the altar with a man without a womb? Which is more evil? 
Hmm? All I know is that I cannot marry a woman without a womb. Then I cannot marry a man who killed my family, period. So be it. You woke up to time. I was about to wake you up already. It's 5 a.m. Congratulations, brother. And there are a lot of dancing to do today. Brother, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand the fact that you're getting married today. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to get up and get dressed. See, your photographers will soon be here. This wedding is cancelled. I quit. <laughs> Brother, are you all right? Cancel a wedding when you've already completed your traditional wedding yesterday. Okay, <laughs> is this a prank? Yeah, show me the evening camera. Where is it? Let me see it now. I said the wedding is cancelled. Ah! Oh, bro Isaac, thank God you came in time. I don't understand what my brother is saying. He said the wedding is cancelled. Cancelled? Ah, I know. Ah. Ah, cancelled. I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen! Every manipulation of the devil to truncate this wedding shall not stand in Jesus' name. Don't waste your tongue. Jesus. I said the wedding is cancelled. Ah. And as for you, it's better you begin to pass the information around now because I'll be out of here in no time. Ah, ah. But see, let's get ropes. Let's get ropes and die in. Ah. I think I need to go and see Sister Wait, Charity right now. Ah. It would be so unfair to my family to go ahead with this marriage. What are you even saying? You just woke up and you started saying rubbish. Better get up and get dressed. I said I'm calling it off. Ha! I need to run. Hello? There's there is a problem. A problem? problem. What's it? You speak first. What is the problem? My brother is calling off the wedding. What is happening? Charity too is also quitting. I'm confused. What do we tell people? Those who have witnessed their traditional wedding yesterday? I don't know. I don't think I have seen something like this in my life. This is what we will do. Hmm? Don't let her go anyway. We hold them. Inform the pastor about the latest development. They must marry. Yes, so they must. The jollof rice, the meat, the drink. On what account? The issue surrounding your wedding is quite embarrassing, but also necessary. I feel it is necessary for you to set time to revamp before you get back into the marriage. What's your decision now? Um, Pastor, sir, um, well, actually, before I make my decision known, I have some questions to ask. Please go ahead. Sir, I admit what I did happened when I did not have the knowledge of the light. But, sir, where is the place of God's mercy in all of this? Well, the place of God's mercy is central and key. Uh, but it's essential for you to know that whatever we have done bears consequences. The message of God may not outrightly throw away the consequences of our wrongs. You can remember in the Bible, David, having committed sin with Bathsheba, Uriah's, uh, Bathsheba Uriah's wife, he discovered that despite his plea for mercy, the child still had to die. Yeah, so it wasn't that God wasn't merciful, but our, our wrongs carries consequences. So what God can do is only to be merciful, maybe reduce the, the intensity of the punishment, but actually we may not be able to run totally away from uh, the consequences of our sins. So, mm -hmm. Does it not mean that the mercy of God can give Sister Charity 
a new womb? You are getting me right. Because uh, the mercy of God is intact, like I said. But the truth is, uh, the consequences of sins may not be totally eradicated. Even though we've enjoyed pardon, I mean pardoned by the blood of Christ, but uh, the consequences of sin, when a lady got herself this virgin, as a result of her carelessness, the mercy of God wants to restore back her virginity. So the mercy of God is intact, but that's why we often say it's good to find the light early in life. I understand, sir. I understand. Sir, I have prayed, and um, the Holy Spirit made me realize that I need to first forgive myself. Then, before Bro Collins, it's a big struggle for me. But then, I have forgiven everybody, everyone. I just um, plead that Bro Collins will forgive me for keeping such for a long time. Well, uh, Sister Charity. I should rather be the one to ask for you to forgive me, you know, by putting you in a mess through what I did to your family when I was in darkness. I sincerely apologize. I'm sorry. You see, uh, I must say this. Your case has added to my lessons on the judgment system of God. You see, Brock Collins saw the seed, and the Lord preserved Sister Charity to be the harvest of that seed. There is one thing with God, and that's what we can keep praying for. It is His mercy, so that His mercy prevails over your judgment. So what's your decision now? Uh, Pastor, sir, um, actually, Sister Charity and I have really taken time to discuss and resolve all issues. So our decision is to take a whole year break so we can really seek the face of God and get words that will take us through this marital journey. So after that, we now intend to proceed with the wedding and the marriage, uh, you know, proceedings. That's a very nice one, brethren. Uh, I think uh, it's fine. What we just keep doing is keep going along with you, and we also keep following you over to ensure that the full counsel of God is established concerning you. Uh, essentially, I am sure and convinced that. God has it in his will that two of you should be together. It's necessary that we still seek the face of God and allow things to settle so that you can come back to the Lord of you. Can we pray together? When the things you bear with try to bring your hand and it feels your present world crumbling down just know that God is with you all the time God is with you every day God is with you ready to lose you God is with you ready to help you you just say everything that needs to be said do everything that needs to be done Change everything that needs to be changed And close the door against the past Close the door against the devil Close the door finally on it now Past keep on seeing you to the death, and the things you're covering up, try bringing out. Even the days you left behind him before you, and it seems that. As it is, the world is crumbling down. Just know that God.
God is with you to help you now. God is with you to lift you now. God is with you to carry you. God is with you to see you through. You just say everything that needs to be said. Do everything that needs to be done. Change everything that needs to be changed. And close the door against the past. Close the door against the devil. Close the door finally. Hold it now. Against the devil, close the door against your past, close the door against the devil.